Hello to all my big dogs. <laughs> Hello, all people who are actually listening to this. This is Ears in the Void. It's the show where I use Forgotify to listen to songs that have zero plays on Spotify, and then I judge them, rank them, and see if I like them. The first song we're doing today is a song called Caribbean by Michael Turok. I tried a new angle that's like not having my just my phone. I'm trying to use like an actual camera, but I have to like look away to get to my computer. This might be a bad idea, but you know, we're we're just trying new things. This is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. I hope this isn't like old timey racism. I forgot to play the genre game with this one. Oh, yeah. Well, that was fun. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say like two and a half out of ten. Two and a half out of ten. No, no. Like, I'll give it five out of ten. It was fine. It was a good old, old school, fun little romp there. In today's age, I'm not sure how well the songs that sound kind of like "Ooh, the Exotic Girl." I don't, I don't know if those really age well. But I mean, it, it's not horribly offensive. It's, it's fine. Five out of ten. It was kind of fun. Next song. All right, now we have The Party Must Go On, the backside artist remix by the Global Disco Rockers. They spell rockers with a Z, so I have very high hopes for this. We got the boots, now give us the cats. So like, I love Daft Punk. But sometimes I feel like, man, I, I, I'd enjoy this more if I wasn't just like sitting by myself in the dark in my room with the headphones. And this is giving me the same feeling. I don't think I would go to this party. Just looking over at my screen right now. There is a lot of other versions of this song. Oh, that's a word. Is anyone surprised this is from 2010? This might just be my headphones, but there's not enough like bass really going here. And <laughs> Go on, give us a dubstep. Give us the dubstep. <laughs> uh, okay, it's this part again. This this simply could be interesting. It's just like it's not it's not paired with anything all that all that neat. And like there's a certain like Sylvan Esso and um, Moon Hooch, I think do a good do cool stuff with like minimalism and dance music. But I feel like this is just like too minimal. <laughs> I've strived for this show to not but be mean, but I feel like I've been very mean to this track. I don't really feel bad about it, but I, I, I am going against my like central message. This ending is like the, it could have been an email. And by email, I mean a shorter outro. All right, I'm a little, I'm a little I feel a little bad at like how sassy I was about this track, but. Sometimes you hear stuff that's like, it's not for me, but I can tell why someone would get into it. But uh, this one, it's like, it's not for me, but I feel like the people who it is for would also just kind of find it kind of bland. Three very dead mice out of ten. Also, I think maybe doing the handheld was a mistake. I'll see how I feel about it during editing. It's like I'm just blocking my face, but I doubt anyone's watching it for uh, for my face anyway, so... All right, so now we have song number three, and this is My Friend by Queenie De... Queenie Van De Zant. I really need, like, a teleprompter or something behind the camera so I can 
do this because I kind of think I think I like the visuals of this one better, but. Right off, I really like the guitar sound. The other instrument. When I saw you walking with her, I the other instrument, I'm not quite sure. I was wrong alone. Oh, I keep forgetting to play the genre game. Last night, this is fine. Like, pause in a positive way. It's a pretty song. It reminds, it reminds you of something, but I can't quite place it. I kind of wish I had more to say because I mean it's it's completely fine. Uh, the composition is pretty. It's just all right. I like it better now that I'm not sure if these are real strings or not, but they are. They added a lot. I'll give them that. Pillar harmony is right there. Great high range. It sounds like a diss to say the ending was my favorite part, but but it was a great ending. I'll, I actually give it that. And she's a she's a queenie. She is a very good singer. I'll give I'll give her that as well. Tight harmonies, great voice. Um, has kind of like this, like maybe trying a little too hard to be ethereal, whatever. And I don't just mean that in sound, but I mean, you know, kind of in lyrical concept as well, like talking about her visions and whatnot. Like it wasn't bad. I'm this is like six out of ten. I think, um, I think this is a very talented singer. Just maybe it wasn't a song that really did anything for me, but not bad. All right, gonna remember to play the genre game this time. So we got I Got a Woman by Chris. Thomas, King Nola Trio. All right, this is going to be some soul jazz. I can tell you by album cover, it's a trio. They're from New Orleans. I, I think this one's going to be a jam, and I'm hoping this is going to be the M MVP of the episode because I'm not feeling super strong on any of the other songs today. So let's see where we go. God, the jazz saves this show. Why well, don't I know how to play upright bass? They're expensive, that's why. I love the sizzly piano sound. Alright, I'm confused. I, this is supposed to be songs that never been played, but showing 22,000 plays. I'm keeping it though because I like it. This is so goofy and I'm into it. Sounds like like the jazz classics on NPR. If anything, this show, I mean, as as of like as of right now, this show has had like 15 views per episode. So hopefully that'll change soon. But also, it's helping me find some pretty cool jazz, which is which is nice. All right, yep, sick tunes, loved it, great. Um, I'm going to give that one a solid 8 out of 10. Yeah, I would listen. I need to listen to them again. That was a that was a lot of fun. Love how I'm coiling up the cable like I'm like fucking Henry Rollins or something. Get in this pit. All right, so I think altogether, yeah, t t today's MVP was uh, Chris Thomas King. That was great. Um... Uh, the most improved was the Disco Party Rockers. They had a Z at the end of their name, and they still kind of let me down, which is very disappointing. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching today. Hopefully we'll have another episode next week. Quick plug on March 3rd, which is this Friday, my cover band, the Astronaut Junkies, were playing at City Eatery in Alpharetta, Georgia, where I think we're playing about 10 o'clock at night, I believe. So get, you know, get there a little earlier, have a drink, and... If for whatever reason you saw this show and you came out, say hi. I can't really give you anything, but it'll be really cool. So anyway, this has been Andrew. It's been Ears in the Void, listening to some brand new music. Bye, I guess.